Now, for the sake of those who are new or who, is, who are joining this meeting for the first time, we are talking about Prime Board. And when we talk about Prime Board, Prime Board is actually um, a crypto quantitative trading robot that helps you to automate your trade. If you're into the crypto space, you will uh, bear witness with me that the simplest way to actually make money, um, one of the simplest and most popular way or common way that a lot of persons make money from the crypto space is trading. Whether you are buying and holding, you are trading because in one way or the other, you are involved into buying or exchanging your local currency into another. But going further, there are other types of trading um, that you can actually do on a daily basis to become a day trader or become an expert in trading and be making money from the crypto space. And one of those ways are spot trading. And when it comes to spot trading, as I keep saying, spot trading is one of the safest ways to trade cryptocurrency without losing any money. It is only when you are trading derivative where you use leverage and the rest that you can actually risk your account or lose your whole money in a day. But when it comes to spot trading, you don't actually lose money. But when you trade, when you want to go into trading yourself, there are a lot of skills you need to acquire. You need to know technical analysis. You need to know how to recharge. You need to know chart patterns to know when the price will go or when you are going to buy, when you are going to sell, and all of those. But with the coming of Prime Board, all of these puzzles are taken care of. So you can automate this thing, go about your business. You can still go to your office. You can still go about your business. And the board does this automatically for you and keep earning this money all on auto mode for you. That is what we are talking about. And some of the questions I get asked a lot when it comes to using this board is how much can I make with Prime Board? Let's say I want to put in $100,000. How much should I be expecting in a month? How much should I be expecting in a day? And that is what I am going to share with you right now. That is exactly what I'm going to share with you right now. And this, um, for those of you who will be using, um, for those of you who will be using anything from $100 and above, I, I don't have, uh, because I'm going to share what has been test run for some time, and then we screenshot it just to share with you, to let you know how to, or to let you have an idea of what you should be expecting if you have this sum of amount, uh, this a particular amount of money into this board trading for you. And the first one is with a $1,000 account. With a $1,000 account, this was test run for three weeks, as you can see here. And in the in three weeks, this account was able to generate 20% of the profit. Now, when I say 20% of the profit, it means um, this is not a platform. Another thing I need to clear here is Prime Board has no access to your funds. When I say you can get 10 to 20, 30% in a month, it doesn't mean that you will get this to a certain um, um, or to a certain month or to a number for some number of days. And then at the end of the day, you only walk away with your percentage and your capital is gone. If this account has made you 20%, it means that plus your $1,000, you have a $2,000, dollars $2, in your account. That is how it works. The capital and the interest are all yours. All you just need to do is rent the board for one year and you can use it to do the wonders of trading. So with a $1,000 account, uh, for three weeks, this person got up to 20%. As you can see, this is how much you can make in a day, in, per day, and then this is how much was accumulated for um three weeks and then for another three weeks with a thousand five hundred dollars account this person made up to 26 dollars and now the percentage what i want to emphasize here is that because you will see different um, differences in the percentage some it could go up some it could go down the percentage is not based on the amount of money you have on your account it is based on how volatile the crypto market is that particular month that particular day or that particular week that you are trading it so you can see with a thousand dollars we got twenty percent. With um, in three weeks, with a thousand five hundred we got twenty six percent in three weeks, and then with three thousand dollars account we got seventeen percent in three weeks. So you can see how much you can be making a day per day, or this all depends on the amount of money you um the how volatile the market is that particular day because there is no fixed amount or fixed percentage of what you be earning, but just expect that investing or coming on board with this board, you can be making between 10 to 20% on a monthly basis. And then going further with a bigger account, with 5K account, you can see 5K account under three weeks, this account made 27%, and you can see how much this account is making on a daily basis. And then with $8,000 account, this account made um, 31% in three weeks, and you can see how much this account is actually earning on a daily basis. 
Then we go for that to $25 account. Um, to $25 account, under three weeks, this account got um, 27%. And you can see what I'm actually explaining that the percentage are not based on the amount of money you have on your account. It is based on how volatile the crypto market is that is because 8,000 is making 31% in three weeks. And you can see $25,000 is making 27% in three weeks. Then going for that, we have um, $35,000 account and this account Um, you can see here in a day this account can make up to a thousand um a thousand dollars eight hundred dollars six hundred dollars and so on and then with fifty thousand dollars account in three weeks this account made 26 percent and in the last one i have here um this is how far we could go uh test running this is the profit you can make this account with sixty thousand dollars account this account made um in 40 days 25 percent as you can see, this account in a day can make up to $2,000, $1,800, $2,000, $1,500, and so on. And as I said earlier, the funds and the amount of money, the returns you get every week is all yours. It is all yours. And the beauty about this is the more funds so that those of you who are skeptical whether you have to put in your money or not, this is for you. Your funds are safe with you on your, that is one thing I like about this part. You are not giving your money to any Ponzi scheme that will tell you will give you some percentage and after the contract ends you don't have access to your funds your funds and the returns you get every month are all yours and they are all safe on your exchange because this board has no access to your funds so if you have the funds to start trading with um prime board go ahead and fund your account and start trading with it nobody is taking that money away from you in as much as you have your login details and you have secured your binance or your Huobi account very well so with this being said if you're in this meeting you have an idea of how much you should be expecting every month every day every week using this board going further is the automation mode of this um, particular system that is what i want to explain to you now because a lot of persons get confused when it comes to this all right so if you can see my screen i want to explain this to you now when we come to the trading setting when we come to the trading setting, please, your focus should be here. When we come to the trading setting, you have your first purchase price here. And the trade we are looking at right now is, uh, let me go back one step, uh, is at that USDT. The trade we are looking at right now is at that USDT. And then all I just need to do is to scroll down here and go and click on the setting. If I click on the setting, the first purchase amount here is $50. And this trade is on second mode. Now, the difference between single and circle is this. When it is single, it means that this trade will, this particular trade can only buy $50 worth of ADA. And when it enters profit of 2%, which we have indicated here, when it enters profit of 2%, it will take profit and sell and exit the market. It means that automatically it stops trading because you are using single mode. But when you are using circle mode, circle mode is what actually influence this other advanced setting under the advanced setting our first call second call third call fourth call up to fifth call the signals that we send out on the group uh, we only use fifth call but you can go from fifth from you know five the highest you can go with the board is seven times that is the other quantity so the circle mode is what controls this one that you have here if you are not using circle mode you don't, don't pay attention to this if you are using single mode just near this and under this we now go ahead and check the open position double we go ahead and check this and when we check it you see that on the first cover we are simply telling the board to buy two times on the second cover we are telling the board to buy four times and so on and that is what i'm going to explain on the chart right now so i'll go ahead and share that screen now and explain that um, and break that please note this we are treating circle mode and under the circle mode we are going to treat all of this first cover second cover third cover to fifth cover so just pay attention to the chart i'm sharing now all right so this is the chart i want to share with you and we are going to treat this i had to make uh, put all of this this is not according to the signals but if you want to take the seven um calls or the seven covers you are free to do that because everything has been broken down here now when we go ahead and use circle mode we go ahead and check the double position what you are simply saying is that when we enter a trade the first the minimum you can start trading with the minimum you can start trading with it's actually $15 on Prime Board. The, the, this is as 
So you are going to start trading with 15 USDT. So if your first call, uh, if your first purchase amount is 15 USDT, what you are simply saying, and you are using circle mode, and then you have used maybe from fifth, first to uh, fifth cover, what you are simply saying is that if for any reason, the price drops by 3%, which is the first cover as we normally set it, and that you will see in this slide here. Let me explain this here. Um, this is it. You are entering a price when you enter with first purchase amount of this, and you are using this first call when it goes by minus six three percent. You want to buy first call when it goes by minus six percent. You want to buy second call when it goes by minus nine percent. You want to buy third call and then minus twelve percent. You want to buy the fourth call and then the fifth call. These are all what we have been setting on. We have been putting on the signals that we send out. So that is what I want to use to explain this. So if I come back here to this first one. If the first purchase amount is $15, when it drops by 3%, it will buy two times for you. Two times means 15 into two times, which is $30. And then when it drops by um, when it drops by 6%, which is the second cover, you want to buy four times. And buying four times will mean that you are going to buy $15 into four times, which is $60. So when if it drops by um the third cover for the third cover to cover it means that it has dropped by eight percent i'm sorry i didn't include that color maybe i will amend this chart it has dropped by eight percent uh, by nine percent or so nine percent means that you to buy eight times for you eight times mean fifteen dollars into eight times so meaning that if you are going to use the fifth cover for one coin for you to be able to trade the deep or buy the deep for one coin you are going to need four hundred and eighty dollars to trade that is what you are going to dedicate to a particular coin so if you want to trade 20 coin, it means that you should be estimating 480 by 20 coin. Then if you want to go to the seventh call, it means that in one coin with the $15 amount, you should be allocating 1,920 USDT to that particular coin. That is what you are going to allocate to that particular coin to be able to trade the deal and uh, to be able to buy for you when it, the price drops up to, let's say, 16%, 20%, depending on your settings. Then, if your first purchase amount is 30 USDT and you want to go from first, com, uh, from first cover to second cover, what they are simply saying is that when it drops by 3% of the first cover by two times, which is 30 by two, um, when it drops by um, 6%, you want to buy the second cover, which is four times. So 30 by four will give you 120. So for this to be able to cover up to the fifth cover, it means that you need to have 960 USDT. And then if you want to use a seven cover, you need to have 3,000. This is what you need to dedicate to a particular pair that you are trading. And the reason for doing this, it may not get up to 3%. That particular token may not drop up to 3%. It may not drop up to 6%. It may not drop up to 10%. But this is if it happened because it must surely happen. This is cryptocurrency. Anything can happen. In a minute, the price can shoot up to 100,000. And within seconds, it can drop up to um in fact minus 50 60 70 percent we have noticed it if you have been in on, on the crypto space for a while this is what you do you can actually note uh, note then if it is 50 dollars just like that that i shared with you here it means that for the second cover to be um actually um to for the second cover to be triggered it means i need to have 160 usdt if i want to align this or assign all this up to the fifth cover it means that for me using 50 dollars i need to have a thousand six hundred dollars to be able to cover up for this so if i want to trade 10 coin and i want to you know take note of all of this drop in the market i can have up to a thousand six hundred by 10 of those coins that is what i will use to trade um with 50 dollars as the first purchase amount then if you want to do it with 80 dollars you see the difference there if you want to do it with uh, 100 dollars you'll see it there if you want to do it with 120 dollars this is it if you want to do it with 300 dollars and it goes on like that and like that and like that so this is what i want you to study to be able to make effective and the beautiful thing is that circle mode is better than um single mode okay yeah uh i wanted to ask if we have if we have limited capital like if you're only trading this thing with a hundred dollars because some of us are exhausted from our past spending uh with cryptos and all the shimon and all the wahalas and we really do not have any money 
So if you only have hundred dollars now and you say as this thing is getting deep, it gets more expensive, how are you going to enter? Anyway, I was posting the I was question on chat as we are moving on. Then uh, that one was I wanted to ask this one that when it gets down to it and then it goes up before it um, before you can it can now buy. Is this a new feature? I think those are the two questions I have for now. All right. Um, so I'll go back to the chat. Let me go back to the chat. Let me let you know. You have two options. When you have, um, let's say, $100 and above, you have two options. Now, this is a simple mathematics that you can do yourself. Your, what, what this simply means is that your first purchase amount will be 15, between 15, 20, or even if you want to go $30, fine and good. So if you are using a $100, instead of going to the fifth call, you can stop at the second call. The second call, okay. which is the second cover. Now, what this simply means is that your first purchase amount is going to be $15. When it is $15, $15 from, if you remove $15 from, um, from $100, you now have about $85 left, right? Yes. Now, on that $85, the, sec the first call is that when the price drops by 3%, it should buy two times for you. So this yeah. is going to buy two times, and that two times will be $30. $30 plus $15, that is $45. You still have 55 left, right? Yes. Now, when it draws by the second time, you are going to buy, um, you are going to buy, actually, this is supposed to be buying six times. Uh, this is supposed to be buy, buy four times, sorry. And that four times will mean 15 by four, which is $60. So in this case, you may not have the uh, number of uh, amount of money to buy at the second call. So you have two okay. options. Is either you go with just the first call and then you set your trade to be either 2%, 6% for yourself or you use single mode. That is just the, 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 the basic here. Or you can make it $105. In this case, the $105 will be able to go to the second call for you. So second call will be, you know, before you buy the first, the second, and the third, you would have been able to get that $105 to be able to make up, make, make up for this. But aside that, you will need to go with single mode instead of just buying, you know, setting this to be the deal. If you go with single mode and you're buying $15, $15, you can buy, uh, you can trade like uh, $15 by um, 15 into two, that is 30, 15 into four, that is 60, 15 into six, you can trade up to six coins. If you are trading with $20, $20 per coin, as first purchase amount, you can trade up to five coins. If you are trading with $30, $30, you can trade up to $30, can give you up to three coins using single mode. But if you must go to the deep, if you must buy the deep, then first cover, your hundred dollars cannot even cover for second cover. So you should try and uh, make it a bit um, um, a bit bigger or try start with what you have, go with single mode. And then as time goes on, you can add all money to your account and then cover up for all of this other one. Because the beauty about this board is to help you automate your trade. And if you don't have enough funds to automate your trade, then you need to do it manually. And the manual trade simply means you are not, what it means is that you are not reading any chat. You are not know, you are telling the board, I want to buy, I want to take profit. You just activate it and the board does that automatically for you. So you can use single mode to be able to uh, actually see benefit from the market. I hope that is clear, okay. enough, um, Tony. It's, yeah, it's clear. But, but now, what's the, then you buy that, is, is, it, is it so that it will retrace back time? Because I don't understand the meaning of when it now buys three times at the third call or eight times. We did not make it, for example, if it has gone deep, like, say, on the third cover, like, um, minus, say, minus 3%, will it make it make profit on time? Is that the aim of buying those multiples? Now, now the, aim, the, aim, the aim of buying the deep is this. That buying, buying the deep simply means, you know, there's a um, the strategy that um, financial um, advisors will tell you to use in investing. Whether you want to invest in stock or anything, they will use it. They ask you to use um, uh, dollar cost averaging. Dollar cost averaging simply means that if I have a thousand dollars to invest in crypto right now, instead of going there, going all in with a thousand dollars and just buying a coin immediately, what you can do is that I can buy a coin worth two hundred dollars today, and then when the price drops tomorrow, I can buy. I can even buy more. Let's say I can buy for five hundred. 
Then if you keep dropping more, I can buy more. Then if it goes up, I buy more. That is what that is the simple strategy that this board has been um, made to use. And the reason for this is because the market must go down. This is is not as if will he or will it not? The crypto market, if it rises today, just like what Bitcoin is doing today, doing now, Bitcoin actually hit all time high of sixty nine dollars, sixty nine thousand, and then drops down again to sixty seven. These are these are things that are normal. Don't because you bought Bitcoin at sixty nine thousand dollars, just assume that the price will remain there. This is a normal thing, and that is what the board is meant to do for you. Instead of just waiting for it to go up, the board buys the dip and make profit for you, even when the market is dipping. Do you understand? Okay. okay. Yeah. yeah. So that means that means even if it now goes down, eh, and you set it at two percent, say so it goes down to let's say minus six percent or minus four percent, still need to take that time to come back to come back and make profit at that two percent. If, if you have, that's if what you it, have enough. If you have enough funds to cover it, to cover up for that is what this first, second, third to seven cover are all about. If you have enough funds to cover up, even when it drops by 10%, you are not totally losing, even when it is showing minus two, minus 10% on your screen, you are not totally losing because at a point the board can actually detect when it goes up by 5% and it starts dropping again, it automatically sell for you. But if you don't have enough funds to cover for that and you are using single mode, you just have to wait for it until it hits the target and sell for you. Do you okay. understand? Yeah, now, yeah, I understand. Now, there's another chart you show there. When it goes down, it now goes up by 3%, the board buy. If it goes deep, it goes up by 3%, the board, the board buys. I wanted to know if that's a, a new feature in this um, prime board. It, it, it is a feature that, that yes, it is, it is a feature that has been, that I, it is a feature that has been, and the first call, second call, all implemented with it. This, you will see this because when you are setting up your tree, you will see it where you say um, margin call back, margin call back, you set 0.3%. And then you take profit at 2%. These are what that simply means. What are those margin call back, those settings they are doing on your, on your trading? This is what it simply means. This is the explanation. That is what I was trying to explain. That what that zero point three percent means is that if the market drops by six percent and it goes up a little bit by zero point three percent, the board will automatically buy for you and then wait for that. If it continues to increase, when it hits the average price, it sells and take profit. But if it goes down again and goes up by three percent, it buys. The same thing is applied when it is selling. When it goes down, it goes up by five percent and it's dropping by zero point three. It will automatically sell and take profit for you. That is what margin callback and uh, the margin callback setting. That is what it simply stands for. I hope you understand that. Um. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. I, I just need to make a comment here. Now, this one went. This one at the last fourth call went up by five percent. That's when it sells. Now, this this strategy at the fourth call can it be applied to the first, second, and third call? Do you understand me, sir? It depends on the numbers of course. You hold on. It depends on the numbers of course you are setting. The okay. fourth call. You understand? If you set it up to the seventh call, depending on the percentage you are allocating to each of these call, that is what the board will work with. Okay. Okay. So this I example is from first call to the fourth call. That is why you are seeing this. Okay, I think I, I think I understand it. But I, I think I understand this one now, but can this be, uh, I wanted to know if this can be made on individual, on, on all the individual calls, like first, second, and third, or it's, it can only be made once, like as it was, as, is this, as it is done in this example. I don't it know if can be made, it, it, it cannot be made on all of the calls, but it is, it is made on the numbers of calls that you said. Okay. Okay. Yes, but advisably, what well, as recommended from the board, you should at least trade, have enough funds that can carry up to the fourth call because that is when the money making aspect of it comes from. And that is why, from the signals, we just send to the fifth call instead of using the seventh, because the seventh call will mean a lot of money and you know it will take a lot of time before you make profit. So just set it to the fourth call, uh, at least go to the fourth call, and then the board will take it off from there. Okay, thank you. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Okay, I have a question, please. Okay, go ahead. 
Yes. Uh, my question is on uh, um, the threat setting. Can you hear me? Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm hearing you. On the open, uh, that opening position double, I think in the layman lang language means you should buy multiple times when it is dipping, right? Yes. Okay. Now, if we if we put the uh, open position double off, it's going to be one 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 one. So if we leave it at that, we won't it work? It will still okay. work. No, huh? it will it will still. If if you leave the open position off, it will still work for you. Okay, that you say it can reduce the because the, for some of us that are lacking fund, if we say okay, if you just buy this number of percentage, you should buy one. Another dip again, buy one. Another dip again, buy one. I think it will reduce the, the amount of the USDT we are supposed yes, to put. Yes, it will, yeah. it will, it will reduce that. But what I want you to understand is when you look at the the calculation here are done on the amount of funds that you actually have, and it will only profit you when it is um um in double position meaning that remember on the fourth call the fourth call here simply means that the board has bought like um on the fourth call or that is like eight, 16 times or thereabout now the amount of money let's say 15 dollars by 16 that you are going to accumulate or 30 dollars by 15 you are going to accumulate is what the board will sell at five percent and make profit remember that it is not waiting to go back to the first call when you bought at 15 or 30 dollars yeah, yeah. So when you do it, instead of getting 4.8% at the fourth call, when you do it in single move, turning off, please, can you just mute yourself why I, so that I... When you do it with just single move, like not turning on that double position, you may not get up to that 4.8% profit. Because the profit is calculated based on the amount of funds or the double, double position that they have bought for you. That is why it is advisable you check that double position on for maximum profit. Okay. Yeah, so if you have a little am amount of money and you can, you know that you cannot cover up to the fifth level or the fourth level, don't check, don't, instead of just checking, not checking the double position for you to make a better profit, just go on single mode. That is what I can advise. Okay, or, or that you mean you can do like- You trade that. one coin or you just trade one token with your phone, to the level that you can carry. If you can carry to the second call, the third call, just trade it that way. Okay. Okay. Yes. Honestly.